Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. So Mattel has done it again. They've gone ahead and given us some more of these under the radar paint variants for their figures. I've just been able to locate this one, which is the Maposaurus, and I figured I'd bring it in today and of course examine it with the other version that is already out and we can see what differences there might be outside of the very obvious color difference. I mean, I think the figure as a whole sculpt wise is going to be exactly the same, but the biggest difference I can see straight away would be the light tone of the underside of the figure is a whole lot lighter than we had seen on the previous versions. So I'm going to pop this Maposaurus out of the packaging and then I think we're just going to jump straight to a closer look and compare with the other version that was out previously and we'll check it out again more thoroughly from there. So here again is the newest version of the Maposaurus that has just recently hit the market and one thing that I can really notice on this one that I didn't notice as much on the other version would be the difference in coloration of the darker tones and I don't know if that means that the darker tones are a little bit different as well as the lighter tones but let's bring the other one up and take a look at the two together you know looking at them at first glance I would say again it's very obvious that we have a very different lighter tone for the lower part of the dinosaur but uh, in general I would say that it looks like the darker tone of the upper side might be slightly different as far as the shade of color goes just ever so slightly but not like a massive difference but I just feel like I can see like this first of all let's put the other one down for just a second but you can see there's a darker tone like a black that kind of runs up here up into the eye socket area and then runs up into the palette and I didn't notice that quite as clearly on the other version so even though you know it looks extremely similar at first glance as far as that darker tone goes I think it's actually a little bit more obvious on this one that there is variation of color throughout and you can continue to see that as you move through the course of the figure I actually see a lot more of like lighter grays up here and you can even see like black striping down from the upper side of the dinosaur and again that's something I really don't remember noticing on the first version of the Maposaurus so and also like you can see the coloration here looks like maybe it's slightly different compared to right here as you move down and the patterning is basically running down to the lighter tone it just feels or looks a little darker as you follow along that area compared to what you see up above so again really nice paint on this one actually like I would definitely say I like this newest version a lot more than I liked the older version. But let's go ahead and bring the older one back up again. And we'll take a look at the two together. Again, you can very clearly see the eye color appears to be the same. The uh, coloration of the lower side, though, is very different. You see that the underside sports like an off-white for the newest version. And then it has much more of like an orangish brown on the older version and when you see the two together you can see it's like night and day difference as far as the coloration goes so I feel like this one obviously being the earlier release is going to be in the future a lot harder to find it's another one of those instances just like with the Triceratops where it had that light grayish tone and then it changed to a green and uh, the green then was much more abundant than the light gray. So I feel like if you want this one, if you choose this one over the other, I would recommend getting it if you can find it earlier uh, rather than later so that you don't miss out because I feel like this one will end up being the harder one to find. But I feel like this one still is the superior. I really like the colors of this one. But what's interesting that I'm noticing on the figure is as you move down, you can see the patterning runs down the neck. Looks pretty much the same here. You can see it kind of stripes down here into that area. But as you come back up and you look at the patterning here, it's actually different than what you see on the older version and you can also see as you move up here into the stomach the patterning as well is different in that area as well so it's interesting to see that not only have they changed the colors they've also kind of altered the patterning that you see moving through the course of the figure as well so it's not just like a straight up color variant like the patterning is also slightly different as you move down the course of the legs we'll see if we get both legs in here um it looks maybe like it's slightly different, but like if it is, it's not by much. For the most part, I think that that 
color actually looks or I mean that patterning actually looks pretty much the same we do still have the painted nails on the newer version just like we had on the older version the dew cloth still gets skipped on this one unfortunately but as you move out into the tail you can see yet again the patterning looks quite different if you look at the way that the patterning looks up here on the newer version compared to the way it looks on the older version there's more kind of like a darker tone moving down into the side of the tail as you move along it does kind of run up here and you know the darker tone kind of decreases as you move along which that's not going to change because I actually think that that's a separate piece potentially that yeah definitely looks like a separate piece that's been included so you're not really going to see any difference as far as that goes the uh, coloration of the spines on the back they look pretty much the same to me. I don't really notice any difference as far as the tone of color there. But let's turn the dinosaur around. We'll take a look at the opposing side. And now you can see again the uh, very obvious difference in tone, but also the difference in the patterning and stuff. You can see it's really quite different on this side, again, compared to what we see on the other version like you can see this one has very different style patterning compared to what you see on this but i'm actually interested to see something no yeah so that one's just entirely different that's so crazy that they would change i thought maybe for a second maybe they mirrored the colors but this one really does just have totally different patterning as far as the way that the two colors kind of meet compared to the older one moving through a large portion of the body again moving down the legs it looks the same just different tones of color but as you move out into the tail Again, you can see it's very different as far as that goes. So that's really interesting to me. I'm quite surprised to see that not only did they change the colors on the new Maposaurus, but they also changed the patterning around a little bit as well. So again, Mattel continuing to do these very surprising things and also create a massive headache for variant collectors like myself. Because then every time you see a new paint variant, you're like, man, I gotta go find that one, which this one wasn't actually too hard to find. And I, at the same time that it can be a nightmare, especially if you are in an area where it's hard to find Mattel stuff, if you're in an area where Mattel stuff is easier to find, it's actually kind of fun getting these slightly different paint variants. And like my good friend Matthew recently said to me, uh, it's almost like we now have a male and a female version of the Maposaurus. And I think that's a really cool way to look at it. And it is really neat, actually, I think, to have slightly different paint variants like this. And there you can see them now with the, uh, you know, spines sticking out of the back of them. Maybe the color of the spines in the newer one are slightly lighter looking at the two now. It, you can see the older one almost looks more reddish, whereas the newer one looks almost more pinkish as far as the tones go for that. But for the most part, they look very similar. But you can see, though, that, uh, again... The uh, two figures do look very obvious as far as the differences in paint and go when you see them together standing here. And they also do just generally look really, really cool next to each other. I think as a whole, Mattel did an awesome job on this figure. And the colors on both of these are probably some of the nicest we've seen in the mainline Mattel uh, line Jurassic World line for a long time but I'm definitely partial to the newer one which is good if you happen to have missed out on the older one and uh, you're like me and you think the newer one looks better then I guess it's not that big of a deal that you missed out on the older one but uh, I would absolutely say the newer one is far more superior to the older one when it comes to the overall visual but both are really cool so again if you're interested in grabbing this newest one i think you just need to head on over to walmart there's not really much else that needs to be said about this again outside of what we've already gone over we've you know thoroughly reviewed the figure in the past we really only needed to check out the new differences so head to your local walmart hopefully you'll find one there and of course like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.